Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Hello! It is now... Where are we? Monday the 6th. Monday the 6th of December. And it's nearly two minutes away from 4 o'clock. I'm on my way up to Dundee to deliver <coughs> a table. And then I've got one that needs to go to Livingston. I've been out in the charity shop today, it's been a no bad day. However, the week has been shit. <clears throat> As you all know, Peggy got her MOT done and that little problem that I had that I thought they got cured with the um, with the uh, Power, uh, power train control. Well, can't remember it now. Anyway, it, it had nothing to do with that. It's knackered. She went in the garage. She's been off the road for over a week. Um, I've been in a higher van, which I am still in now. Um, McNichols Mercedes Sprinter 21 plate, long wheelbase. Uh, got my van back for the garage after getting an oil change, oil filter. Um, it came up through the week there when it started, um, stating that it needed a. It came up on the way back from Falkirk. So, in DPF regeneration and progress, keep vehicle moving. And then, shortly after that message, it, engine management light came on and she can't go for 40. So, went to a garage, the boys tried to re uh, force a regen and it's not working. Uh, the ECU came up with an intern uh, ECU internal fault uh, and the ECU is basically cutting the van for doing a, a clean so it can't go over 40. There's not much else he can do, he done the oil change and filter and the sensor for the DPF, one of the sensors, um, and I got the van back for him. It's in my driveway and it can't be used. I've uh, got a quote for Peugeot for an ECM at £1,240-odd. No happening, I've not got the money there. Um, as I say, I'm in a higher van, so I've already paid £345, plus an extra £195 from Saturday to Tuesday, and then this morning I've just paid another £345 this morning to next Tuesday now, and I don't know what I'm doing after that. So I'm just running the now as much as I can and hopefully try and get Peggy sorted. She's supposed supposedly supposedly she's su supposed to be going away tonight to this other guy who reckons he can sort it. He's got the equipment to plug into the ECU and do a remap and, and all sorts and, and, and upgrade and I don't know, so fingers crossed for Peggy. Um, fingers crossed for the business in general because I can't, I can't keep going like this. Um, there's too much money going out. There's no hell of luck coming in, but we are, we are still keeping things going. Um, obviously, Peggy's money still comes out monthly. She's on finance. Um, and insurance, and then I've got this to pay for now as well. Plus, I'll have a wee bill. I know they've got a 200 pound deposit that I'll get back when I do hand her back, uh, this year back. Um, however, some of that will be going towards the mileage because McNichols only allow you to have 150 miles a day. Anything over that is charged at 12 pence a mile. I had it to the Saturday, Saturday, and then Saturday to Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and I'm now sitting at 1,556 miles, and I've done it. I've now obviously got it from Tuesday to next Tuesday, so I'll get another 150 each day. I'll probably be over that, I'll be buying something for that. But that's where we are, it's just a quick one today. Um, as I say, it's no looking good. There's a lot of suggestions, there's a lot of thoughts in my mind. Um, they are 
I get Peggy fix it, sell her, use that profit, then use the money for selling her to go pay the finance, keep a little bit back, then go bankrupt, um, stay off work for a month, get my heavy goods sorted, or do I keep chasing my ass? try and get her fixed, which I am, I just can't find, I, I tried to go on an ECU doctor online and I, and I gave him the number, the ECU, he can't touch it, um, so you got an ECU doctor that can't fix an ECU, brilliant, um, there's a whole lot of other suggestions, you can, you can buy an old ECU unit, still talking 280 to 300 pounds for an ECU unit which is no good to you but when you send that one away with your one to somebody there's a few of them on eBay and a few of them online um, who then clone take all your data off your ECU and put it on theirs uh, the one that you bought they're only charging a 100 odd quid for that but what's the guarantee especially of eBay you're sending the guy two ECUs that if he managed to fix both, if he manages to fix my one, plus he's got the other one, he's got over, you know, he, he's he's got over 600 quid there. Who's to say he's going to send mine back? That's the chance. Um, as I say, I just don't know what to do the now. So I'm just going to going to keep going until Tuesday next week, 14th, and this is all happening now at Christmas, a time where before that fall, before last week, before it played up, Christmas was looking good, money was getting put away, things were going to get ordered and, and that, and now it's, now that money's getting used elsewhere, so this is my second Christmas is going to be shit. Last year was shit as well because Trisha the Transit was playing up last year, just before Christmas, and I got my Peugeot. And now the Peugeot's playing up. So I have no luck with vans. Anyway, we'll let you get cracking. As I say, up to Dundee, you get back down. I'll come up with her. <clears throat> I'll pop back up through the week with our update, but at the moment, It's shit. Thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, enjoy your day.